dear students i am dr a nirmala assistant professor pg department of computer application st joseph college of arts and science at anamas kalam 1 in this in this session we will discuss about operation on a process in process management there are seven different operation on a process create a process dispatch a process block a process time up a process wake up a process change the priority of a process first create a process the process to create a process the process consider here the running state is the fifth here consider the nine process each 10 process the starting address of the process id is 0 0 to 9 each and every process has unique process id in this to create a process the process which are in the free state can be moved to the ready state here consider running state the process which is in the running state is 5 the ready state starting is the uh, starting process id is 0 and the ending one is 8 the blocked state 1 to 4 and the free state 9th process id is 9 here first consider the running state process 5 the 5 there should be no previous process or process or next to process so it should assign as an asterisk then move on to the ready state the ready state the first process id is 0 the first process id consider go to the zeroth block here the the zeroth block there should be two subdivision the sub the first subdivision first two partition is here we are saying the very two two here two represent which process is going to be get executed next will be loaded first the process already which is executed or which is reside which is reside or lying before the zeroth process id is represent the next here before zeroth process id there will be no process so we are saying as asterisk so the next process which is going to be get executed is 2 then consider second process id In the second process id the next process id which is going to be executed is 7 and the previous process id which has been executed is 0 and then take the next one is 7 take this 7 the process which is going to be executed is 6 so in the sixth process id is allocated and the process which is which has been already executed is is 2 so it is assigned as 2 for the sixth one the same procedure will be followed for the eighth there will be no next process so assign as asterisk and then 6 then go to the block state the block state the first process id is 1 move on to the block process id 1 here the next process which is going to be executed is 3 the next one is called as an so, uh, there should be no previous process so it should be assigned as an asterisk the same procedure will be followed for the allocation of the process control block here the process control block the process control block contain information about the process the which process has been which state which is uh, process id everything will be maintained by the process control block here the process control blocks has the process id process uh, uh, id means here in this process we are represent the process id is 0 to 9 process statements running state ready state block state free state then priority the process 0 to 7 6 we are giving the first priority to the zero here we are then pointed to the next resources so this all the information will be get stored here here in then first when the create a process from the free state it should be moved on to the ready state the next one is called as an killer process killer process means the process which is in the running state can be can be get terminated so so the running state 5 will be get terminated means it should be moved on to the free state here so the running state now it should be a waiting for some other process so it should be in the scheduler process so in the process control block the same process will be followed the allocation for example first ready state zero means there should be the next state going to be executed is 2 on the previous state there will be no previous state so we assign as asterisk 
for two go to the second process the next process which is going to be executed is seven and the previous process which is already executed one is zero and then go to this seven the seven the next process going to be executed is six the the previous process which has been executed is two the same method will be followed to six and then eight the eight there will be no next process so assigned as as trick the process which has been going to be uh, which has been executed is six it should be assigned as assigned as six then go to the block state go to the process one process id one here there should be the next state is three previous state there will be no so previous process has not executed so assigned as as trick so it should be applicable for one three four and nine and five after kille process we are going to carry out dispatch process when the process will be get dispatched means from the ready state to running state for the process which are waiting in the running state moved to the which are waiting in the ready state moved to the running state means it should be called as dispatch day process here in this here the ready state means it says zero zero now in dispatch a process the process in the running state is zero zero can be moved to the running state so look at it dispatch a process so here zero can be moved moved to the running state again as in the table here in the table as in same thing first you carry out the running state zero there should be no previous there should be no next then move on to the two in the two there should be a next state is seven previous state is assigned it as trick the same procedure for example consider six the six next state will be eight then previous states will be seven the same method the process the pointer to the uh, next process and the pointer to the previous process id which has been executed can be pointed out the next after dispatch a process the next which one is block a process already we know block a process means the process which is in the running state here consider zero is in the running state it should be move on to the blocked state so in the blocked state zero can be entered into the blocked state when the process can be involved in the blocked state the process which are involved in the io operation means which are needed the io means operation means it can be moved from running state to the blocked state so the from the running state zero can be moved to the block the state after the come the same method will be followed to fill up the process control block chain the next concept is time up a process so the time up a process means first when will the time will be time up first that should be moved from ready to running state based on the round robin method time slice will be given to all the process the time slice expired means before the completion of this execution again it move on to the ready state from the running state so first it will be dispatched from the ready state to running state so ready state data will be goes on to the running state then after execution times up so the running state content two will be moved on to the ready state so it will be return back to the back to the ready state so it should be called as a time up a process and the next one is so next one is again you have to for the time up a process again assign the process control block chain and the next one is called as a wake up a process when it wake up a process the process which is involved in the block state after completion of the io operation it will be moved on to the ready state so from the block state value here consider the block state value is one it should be moved on to the ready state here here the block state one moved on it should be moved on to the ready state so from the 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 one will be moved into the ready state it should be called as an wake up a process the next one is called as a change the priority of the process the operating system will access the process control block chain for the shell it will change based on the priority it will give preference after the schedule the scheduling will be based on the priority of the process so the so the operation on a process means there will be first one is called as an for, for example 
uh, uh, create a process means from the free state it should be entered into the ready state and then kill a process means the process which is running on the cpu scheduling will be get terminated means it should be called as an kill a process block a process means the process which is in the running state will be moved on to the io uh, which will be moved on to the blocked state time of means first it will be dispatched then it will be after uh, before the uh, uh, before the completion the time expire means it should be moved on to the time up it will be again returned back from the running state to the ready state thank you